After 94 days of the abduction of 61 Kaduna Abuja ill-fitted train passengers, the families and friends of the kidnapped victims have vowed to block major roads and occupy key government facilities in Kaduna and Abuja in protest for immediate rescue of their loved ones. Plus TV correspondent Habila Darufai fired in this report as presented from our studios. Since the 28th of March, when the bandits attacked AK-49 train and abducted 61 passengers, families and friends have not stopped counting the days. The bandits released 11 out of the 61 victims of the abducted train passengers on Saturday, June 11, with 50 hostages yet to be released. The gun shot at one of the victims by the bandits draws public outcry for the federal government to hasten negotiations for the release of their hostages. Speaking in Kaduna on behalf of the families of the victims, Dr. Abdulaziz Attar expressed worries over their loved ones still languishing in the forest with snake bites and reptiles, noting that the gunshot injuries sustained by victims in captivity are disheartening. He stressed that families will be staging physical protests in Kaduna and Abuja to sit down and occupy government facilities until their loved ones are rescued. We plan to now have physical protests taking place in Kaduna and Abuja. For those of us in Kaduna, we are going to be in Kaduna and Abuja. The activity will start on Tuesday. We are going to have physical protests along major roads in Kaduna. We, we plan to occupy some key government para, uh, facilities. Life has been uh, devastating. I, I can't even begin to even go through them again right now because it will just tear up a lot of emotions and it has been a very difficult time for my family. It has been really Terrible. I think this has been the most uh, trying times in our lives. The only hope and appeal is just to see our loved ones back. My mom has been in cap captivity for 94 days now. I don't know what state she's in. I don't know how she's eating, how she's sleeping. This sad event had dramatically disturbed the condition of affected family. Children are left to cry every blessed day with one question being where, uh, one question being when is mommy coming back and when is daddy coming back home? But the question we're still asking every blessed day is how long do we have to wait for this horrible day to end? We pray for the release of our loved ones in good health. We pray the president for once the president to listen, please. They urged the federal government to prioritize the security of the lives and property of all Nigerians as its primary responsibility. Among those in captivity, 85-year-old grandmother and three years old kids. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.